I really love my new Weber kettle grill. I just wish it had a side table to help me while I'm cooking without drilling anything and voiding the warranty. There, that's better. All right, so this is gonna be a really quick video, but basically I wanted to do this video because a lot of people ask me, where did I get my side table when you guys are checking out my videos on the Master Touch Premium or the original kettle? I'm actually quite surprised because I actually have that table listed in all the descriptions of my videos under an Amazon affiliate link. So it's always been there. And as I replied to the comments, I've kind of told people like, hey, I have the Amazon affiliate link, you know, go ahead and, and click on it and it should give you the page so you can buy it for yourself. And then the follow-up questions are often, you know, can you please do a video on it? Can you kind of compare it and give us your pros and cons? Why did you pick it specifically? The short answer to that is when I first bought my Master Touch Premium, I didn't want to modify the grill in any way because I didn't want to avoid the warranty. When I first bought the Master Touch Premium, it was actually fairly new to the US market and Weber was kind of testing out the waters. So I knew that it was a first iteration. It was kind of a major step for Weber, right? They included a hinged lid and I didn't want to do anything that was going to void the warranty just in case I had problems with the grill. And if you guys have watched some of my other videos where I've done a full review on the Master Touch Premium and a diffuser plate and I gave you guys a six month update on what I thought about the grill, I did end up having quite a bit of issues and I did have to reach out to Weber and use their warranty, which was phenomenal. I mean, Weber took care of me, but I didn't want any reason to avoid the warranty or not to get any help. So I'm kind of glad that I did it. This particular table I bought years and years and years ago. It's made by Barbecue Dragon, and they also have some accessories that will help you light your charcoal faster, like a fan that will help with your chimney starter and so forth. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not sponsoring this video. Everything that I'm telling you is from my own experience with my own money. And really, I'm just doing this video to answer your guys' questions. But so far, I bought a few things from them. Not too much, just a side table. And I think I bought some like rib racks or something. And it's been a really good experience. So that's all I can say about the company. So yeah, that's basically the background. Let's dive deeper into the table. And I'm also gonna talk about some other accessories that you guys are also asking about. So the Barbecue Dragon side table. It's fit my Weber Master Touch Premium like a glove. And it also fits my Weber Original Premium Kettle Grill just fine as well. It's actually designed for the 22 and a half inch, or I forget what the diameter is, but it's designed for the original kettle, not the oversized one and not the Kamado. It's just, you know, the original kettle, the original kettle premium, the master touch premium. And it fits great. Like I said, there's no modifications. The table folds out. It's really convenient, easy to store. It has a bunch of hooks for you to add things and, you know, clips on, as long as you have it centered to where relatively where the leg's at, you shouldn't expect the grill to tip or anything like that. When you do close the lid on your kettle grill, a big drawback to these no modification accessories is you don't really get a good tight seal. And that's something that I did struggle with. It did get a lot better as the table greased up and you know, the barbecue grill lid also developed that initial seal, that grease. It got a lot better, but I also came to terms with that the Master Touch Premium is not a dedicated smoking grill. It's sort of a versatile, do it all, jack of all trades type of grill that's in an intermediate range. It's not really pro, it's not really beginner, it's in that nice intermediate range. So I would say if you do have the original kettle, the original kettle premium or the Master Touch premium, just expect that you're not gonna get a perfect seal. The lid closes just fine, you're not gonna have any issues with that. But especially in the beginning when everything's new, you're not gonna get a tight seal and you will see some air leaking or some smoke leaking from there. So just keep that in mind. I will say though, with my original kettle, the one you know where you actually have to lift the lid and there's no hinges compared to the Master Touch Premium, that one does seal a lot better. So, you know, the hinged lid design with the Master Touch Premium kind of doesn't give you much to work with as far as getting a perfect seal with the table. But the original kettle, you know, when you just lift the lid and hang it on the side of the, the grill, that does get a better seal because you can, you know, you can kind of pivot it and get it where you want it to be. So that's just a little minor thing. Now, the big pro of this thing is the convenience, the no modifications necessary. It's a fairly good price. I think I got mine for 30 bucks or 35 bucks, something like that. If you do a search on Amazon, you don't necessarily have to get Barbecue Dragon's 
particular one. There's actually many variations of the same table. So whoever's making this in China or whatever, they're making it now for different manufacturers and releasing it. I do recommend you do get it from Barbecue Dragon just because they had good customer service and they always treated me right. I will also say that when mine first arrived, it was damaged and had nothing to do with Barbecue Dragon, absolutely nothing to do with the company. It was actually the Amazon carrier. I actually have him on video from a long time ago. He actually threw the package and uh, the side of the table got bent in. I did contact Barbecue Dragon. They apologized, even though they had nothing to do with it and offered to send me a new one, but I didn't want to do that. I was fine with it. You know, I could bend it back in place if it really bothered me. It never really bothered me. It never affected fit, form, or function. So I just, you know, kept using it and it worked out just fine. The weight capacity on this thing is actually pretty good. Sometimes I have a large brisket or a bunch of ribs or whatever, at least, you know, 15 pounds. I would say 10 to 15 pounds on that table and it handles it just fine. Now it has a limit. I don't know what the limit is off the top of my head. Read the specs, you know, go on the website. But I would say in real world experience using this thing day in and day out, I haven't had any issues with it where I felt like, oh man, I can't put anything on there. It's gonna snap off. But I do recognize that it has its limitations. So just make sure you understand that. And then the next thing you gotta consider is you don't have much space. It's a nice side table and it definitely helps when you have a lot of things in your hands and you're trying to get grilling and you know do your thing. And the hooks are fantastic because the Master Touch Premium only has two hooks on the handle and you know they don't cut it. So having those extra hooks is great. Having a place to put my magnetic meat thermometer just to stick it on the side table is great. I really like it. You got good capacity, I mean, decent capacity, right? You don't have a huge table, but you have something you can work with. The weight capacity is just fine. I think it's very practical, folds up, gets stored away really easily and Best part is you don't void the warranty and there's no modifications, no drilling. Now the next items that I get asked about a lot is actually my grill brushes. And again, they're in the links below. They're in my affiliate links. You can find them on Amazon, click the link. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll take you directly to the product and you can buy it. I get a small commission based on, you know, whatever the percentage is, which doesn't cost you a thing, but it's in my description. The brushes are unique. So I'm a firm believer in safety. And recently, very recently in the last 10 years or so, we figured out that the bristles on the brushes, especially the cheap ones, are very dangerous. Now, when those things fall off and they get stuck in your food and you consume them, there's so many people every year that go to the hospital and have to have major surgery or even have some of their colon or their intestines or whatever, they need to be cut out because the little you know bristles get lodged in there and cause an infection and can really, really put you at risk. Now in my quest for safety, I've always tried to find the perfect brushes. And so far to be quite honest with you guys, I haven't. About five years back or so, one of my best buds uh, went to the hospital because he had a bristle that was lodged in his stomach, but no one knew. So he cooked some chicken one night and he ate it. And after a few days, he didn't feel very good. And, you know, he didn't know what was going on, but he was in severe pain where he was like screaming. And, you know, he went to the hospital and the doctors didn't know what was wrong with them. So when the doctors were kind of trying to investigate the issue, they asked him, what was the last thing you did? What was the last thing you ate or, you know, so forth. And he had mentioned that, you know, a few nights back, he made some barbecue chicken. So he was thinking, hey, maybe the chicken was bad or, you know, Maybe he ate some bad chicken or it wasn't cooked properly. When the doctors asked him, how did you prepare the chicken? He said, hey, I barbecued it. And they're like, well, did you use a brush to clean your grates? He's like, yeah, I did. They immediately started, you know, testing and, and scanning his body to try to find the bristles. Well, it ended up being lodged in a particular part of his, you know, stomach. And they had to actually open them up and have surgery to try to get it removed. Because once it's lodged in there, it's lodged in there. And your body can't dissolve it, right? I mean you're in excruciating pain, you're swelling, you might even have some internal bleeding. So when that happened to him, I was like, you know what? Let's be a little bit more safe conscious and try to get something that isn't as dangerous. Cause I was kind of, you know, guilty of this. I would go to Walmart or Target and get whatever, you know, the wooden handled bristled brushes, the ones that we're all familiar with, right? And um, I've seen it a couple times when, you know, it flakes off and you, I brushed it away, but I never really thought about would I ever consume that? Would I ever notice that? You know what I mean? So scared the heck out of me. Started trying to research better buys and I came across two brushes. I'll, you know, I'll link them in this video as well. The first one's still a bristle brush. It's just much more beefier and thicker and bigger and it's held together much better. 
And to be quite honest with you, it cleans really, really well. And I, I really like it and I use it a lot, but I'm still kind of nervous about it. I've never seen anything fall out to my knowledge, but some of the reviews on Amazon have said that some of the bristles did fall out for them. So that always just kind of scares me. So the second brush that I got has no bristles. It's just a, like a coil, you know, wrapped around itself and it's theoretically nothing falls out. You can't, you know, you can't get any bristles or any of the spikes in your food, right? So I bought that one. I was excited upon examining it when it first came in. It looked like high quality and I can tell there's no way, you know, there's no safety issues. Unfortunately, it doesn't clean very well. I mean, there's some stuff you can do like heat it up and get some water on there and, you know, try to like brush and steam the grates, but it doesn't clean as well as the steel brush, the one that I did get. So I don't know. I mean, I'm still kind of up in here. I can't really find a decent grill brush that I like that has that safety factor and cleans really well. I've even gotten the ones that have the like little notches for your grill grates to help like scrape them. They kind of look like it's something that you'd use on your fireplace, but you know, I, I bought those and yeah, they didn't work too well. So if you guys know something, if you guys have any recommendations for a safe, but a very effective grill brush, please comment below. I am like really desperately trying to find something that I like. A few more accessories that I'll just mention. Yes, I do have a rib rack and I think a rib rack is amazing. The ones that I specifically have can do pork or beef ribs. I love beef ribs. So, you know, that's what I primarily bought them for. When you do use rib racks, they definitely help you, you know, with the space on your grill, right? You can now stack everything up, they're vertical, and you can just smoke a lot of ribs. So I highly recommend that. I'll put that in the link below. It's a fairly inexpensive buy. And another accessory that I really like is, and I use this for my original Kettle Premium, but it's an upper um, grate. It's like an upper rack that I bought. It's supposed to be like a vegetable rack, but it increases the space for your grill. The one that I have isn't too high, just kind of a con, because I like to stack stuff underneath and then put stuff on top to increase the volume of my cooking space, right? The surface area of my of my grill, so I can add more food. I specifically bought this one because it fits the Master Touch Premium, right? With the lid closing, you're kind of limited. It's not as high as the original kettle, and it's worked out really well for the Master Touch Premium. But there's other ones that are designed for the original kettle, and they're a lot higher, so it's a lot easier to stick food underneath and grab them and pull them and stuff like that. With the one that I have for the Master Touch Premium, it's just a little bit of a challenge to get, you know, some grill tongs in there and try to pull the food or flip it or whatever. But, you know, it is a good accessory. And if you do have a Master Touch Premium, I know it's hard to find some accessories for it because not all accessories for the original kettle fit the Master Touch Premium because of that hinge lid design. So I'll put a link below for that one as well. But that's basically it for me, guys. This was a short video. I hope I answered your guys' questions. Always check my descriptions. I'm always updating my links in the description for things that I use, the things that I really love that I use day in and day out. All you gotta do is click the Amazon affiliate link, it sends you to Amazon, and it doesn't cost you anything. You can buy it for yourself. So I hope this video was informative. Check out some of my other videos, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.